Warning. Use this product one drop at a time. Dave's Insanity Hot Sauce is so hot. <laughs> oh my god! It can be a springboard to YouTube stardom. <laughs> <laughs> so hot, you'd have to be crazy to try it. Welcome to hell, buddy. <laughs> and the mad genius behind Insanity Sauce, oh. Dave Hirschkop. <laughs> Dave concocted his Insanity Sauce while running a Mexican restaurant as a gimmick. The idea, though, was not to attract customers, but to actually try to drive them away. We had a lot of drunks come in late at night and they'd steal things and break things. So I started making hot sauces just to mess with them and just see them sweating and just their, their eyes got, you know, watery and <laughs> it was pretty entertaining. But the joke, in a way, was on Dave. The hot sauce was a hit with students both drunk and sober. I wouldn't kiss them if I were you. Realizing he'd caught lightning in a bottle, Dave began refining his recipe always striving for ever hotter. I can only make it so hot as like the hottest pepper, but I wanted to make it much hotter than that. So I, I started saying, wow, what if I took the heat out of the pepper and put it directly in the sauce? And that's what I did and made Insanity Sauce, which was magnitudes hotter than anything on the market at the time. There were competitors to be sure, and the hot sauce wars heated up but you can't be on top forever. We're sitting in millions of refrigerators all across the nation, but the same bottle will sit in those refrigerators for two years, a year, three years. If Insanity Sauce was a cookie, we would have had $60 million in sales at that point. So we sort of reached a plateau where super hot hot sauce wasn't gonna sell that much more. And then this salsa's out of stock, right? Yeah, so. And that's when Dave had another one of his great ideas. I decided on pasta sauce as the step forward because they turn a lot faster, you go through a jar of pasta sauce much faster. And over the last couple of years, Dave's business has gone from this to this. Dave, ever the idea guy, comes up with the flavors. The recipes are perfected in this little office kitchen. Yeah, this one, the spices are way out of whack. And Dave's latest brainstorm? Now we have a butternut squash pasta sauce. It's radically different. And so popular, Dave's having a hard time meeting production. Sales on the pasta sauces have been fantastic. We're looking at probably 50% plus growth next year. Uh, we had high growth this year. We think the following year we could grow 100%. What department is this? We don't have departments. Does? Everybody does everything. She's like the everything department. <laughs> but with just nine employees, keeping track of sauces, shipments, and supplies became too much for Dave's boutique operation. He was searching for a sophisticated business software package when someone told him about SAP. I never would have thought SAP would make a system for a company like us. When I think of SAP, I always thought of this is a company that delivers you know, multi-million dollar software packages for multinationals. But SAP has taken that global experience and created a powerful package, Business One, for small companies exactly like Dave's. By taking reports and scheduling them, and they come to me via email, but it's throwing the information at me that I need to see. Every other day, I can have any sort of report come to me in my email, whether I'm here or, or any city in the world, and say, wow, you know, look at that. Um, we're gonna run out of that product if we don't order. It's really helping me be a better manager. Allowing Dave's Gourmet, a company founded on the premise of developing the hottest sauce in the world. I couldn't breathe. I actually couldn't breathe. To grow its business and expand its product lines, to now meet the taste of just about everyone. Is it good? All right.